Space Shuttle Challenger is arguably the most infamous shuttle of the fleet due to her untimely and very public loss along with her crew. However, she was almost lost well before that in one of the strangest and most obscure near misses the shuttle program had. In February 1984, Challenger embarked on STS-41B. This was the fourth flight for her and the tenth overall of the shuttle program. It was also a mission of firsts as it was the first one to use the new numbering system for missions, the first one to have an untethered spacewalk, and the first one to land back where the shuttle had launched from at the Kennedy Space Center. But that landing came very close to not happening. During the mission, the design of the low pressure wastewater venting system on the shuttle resulted in a block of ice to form around it after experiencing below freezing temperatures. And yes, while it wasn't all that comprised it, Given it was wastewater, some of the liquid did contain the astronauts' piss. As Challenger was re-entering Earth's atmosphere, a chunk of that ice, estimated to be around 200 pounds, broke off and struck the orbital maneuvering system pod. This resulted in the damage of the protective tiles in the area and led to a burn through. Luckily, it was minimal enough that Challenger survived and safely landed. However, she very nearly suffered the same fate that her sister ship Columbia would many years later. The venting system was subsequently redesigned to ensure this wouldn't happen again, and Challenger continued to fly for five more successful missions after that.